This is a brief introduction to a vacuum pump. Uh, right now we are apparently using the Fisher Technical Company High Vacuum Pump LAV-3. Came out of Roselle, Illinois. And we have a bell jar set up. Let's take a look on the bell jar itself. You'll notice that the platform that the bell jar is on has a 90 degree valve. So like this it's going to be open. Like that it's going to be closed. I'm going to leave it open for right now. On the vacuum pump, you'll notice that on the back is the on and off switch. And on the other side, right here is going to be the oil level. As far as the oil level is concerned, if you notice that the oil level is low, we have vacuum oil for that, vacuum pump oil that you can use to fill that in. Where would you fill it? This is the valve that you would open up for oil fill. It actually does say right on it, oil fill. So you can pour that in there. There's a nice simple spout on it so you can control the amount of oil you're adding. Uh, when you're done with it, of course, make sure you close it before operating the vacuum pump. There is also a gas ballast. The gas ballast allows you to restore atmospheric pressure to the container by opening this up. All right, so what's the proper use? When you go to turn this on, make sure one, this hose is snug, this hose is snug, and this valve is open, so that way it can draw the air. Underneath the bell jar, you should have that hole clear to make sure that nothing is going to get in the way of that hole, because otherwise it's going to get pulled, or excuse me, pushed into that hole and it's going to stop the vacuum pump from working properly, or at least not get a full vacuum inside the bell jar. All right, so let's go ahead and fire this up to make sure you know how to operate it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And we're going to wait for just a moment, just long enough for this to get to a vacuum, or at least close to a vacuum. The air, by the way, is going to be coming out, that's being pumped out, is being pumped out of this handle, out of this particular model. All right, so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that the vacuum is pretty close to being where we want it to be. I'm going to turn this off, and as soon as you turn off of the vacuum pump, close the valve. That's going to maintain a better vacuum and a better seal inside of this, and it's going to stop the oil that's inside this container from getting pushed into this tube. So once again, after you shut it off, shut this valve. And at this point, we could actually release the ballast. The ballast is, listen for it. Right. So now the pump itself is no longer under a vacuum. So this tube all the way to that stop valve is going to be at atmospheric pressure. When I go to release this, I could, one, have left this open as a ballast and then I could open it up that way, or I could keep this ballast on the vacuum pump closed, pull off the hose off of either the vacuum pump or off of the platform, and then release from there. If you have any questions about how to use the vacuum pump without getting a whole mess of oil spilt all over the place, please ask someone who you think might know. But once again, the quick procedure, after you make sure when you go to turn it on, step one, hoses are connected and the vacuum pump is plugged in, making sure that the valve is open. Turn on the vacuum, and as soon as you shut off the pump for the vacuum itself, close this valve, like that. If you have any questions, please ask.